today on Running to Him. Bringing God's Word into our hearts is best done by listening to it repeatedly. We will be reading through the book of Psalms for the next six months, and today we'll read Psalm 40, verse 7 through 17, and we'll concentrate on verses 7 through 10. Psalm 40, verses 7 through 10 says, Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed glad tidings of righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I will not restrain my lips, O Lord, you know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth from the great congregation. Now, when I was a very young Christian and just beginning to teach and preach, someone came up to me and said, you have changed from preaching to meddling, and I'd like you to stop. We both had a good laugh, but our conversation turned to difficult areas. How much of God's word resides in our hearts? How often are we proclaimed the glad tidings of righteousness to the world around us? How many times have we talked about God's faithfulness and his salvation? How often have we not concealed his loving kindness and truth to the world around us? We are told that we should memorize the scriptures. And many books have been written trying to help us learn God's word. And I agree that we should know his word. I agree that it should be written on and in our hearts. But it isn't easy to sit down and memorize scripture. Frankly, there is a different way. Most of us learn by repetition. If we hear something enough or read it repeatedly over time, it will stick in our heads. The problem comes when we don't practice repetition. In the early church, and I'm talking about the second century AD, there became a process for somebody to become a bishop. The sections in 1 Timothy and Titus, which discussed leadership in the church, were followed closely. But the office of bishop was different. A bishop was someone who knew God's word, and one of the main requirements of the bishop was that he knew the book of Psalms. He had to have memorized them and could recite them. Now, how in the world could he do that? There are 150 Psalms. What an undertaking. It would be a massive undertaking if you were talking about straight memorization. But one of the things that the early church did was develop a way to go through the psalms every single week. In addition, multiple psalms were read in the services, so that if a person were attentive, they would learn the psalms by hearing them repeatedly over the years. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at phineasjacobus at runningtohim.net.